Welcome to Let's Go Field versus Sterling. Should be a great game tonight. We have Chris Bender here, and to my right we have Brett Hagen here. I'll give it to Chris, and we'll talk about what Haddonfield needs to do to win. Let me tell you something, gentlemen. Haddonfield is 20-1 coming in tonight. They're led by seniors Blake Wilson and Brian Zubek. Zubek, uh, third in the South Jersey in scoring, averaging about 25 points a game, just under that. And uh, Blake Wilson coming to Princeton next year is a six-foot-four guard who uh, runs the offense for the for the uh, Bulldogs. He's uh, <clears throat> averaging 17 points a night. And those are the two key players for the Haddonfield Bulldogs. On the other hand, we have another good team by Sterling High School. What do you think they'll have to do? Well, for tonight, uh, for Sterling, it's really discovery time. I think they're a, uh, a young team with a lot of talent. And in the Colonial Conference, they really only have one wall, one obstacle in their way, and that is the Bulldogs. Sterling's run by uh, Art Ellis, their lead man. He's averaging about 18 points a game. Uh, he's been having a great season. Also, um, a few more breakout seasons from some of their young uh, guys, such as Mike DeShields and Travis Washington, Sam Washington. The real test here is going to be between the centers, Jack Brennan, there's a nine-inch differential between Jack and Zubek, so it should be a tough test, but I think Sterling can do it. Tonight's the first night that we have a new feature. We have a courtside reporter with Warren Croxon. Now, what, Warren, what do you think about this game tonight? I think it's going to be a very close game. Uh, I went to the first Hannibal game in Hannibal, and it's a very close first half. Hannibal pulled away. But if Sterling can play good defense and they can make their shot, it's going to be a good game. And I think it'll be close if Sterling can pull off the upset. Only time will tell when 7 o'clock hits a tip-off. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Sterling High School Channel 19. We'll see Haddonfield versus Sterling tonight. Back on January 17th, these two teams faced off. Sterling lost 61-42. to It was a game that they stayed in. For a long time, and I think they lost their heads later Brett, in the game. Brett, were you th were you there, Brett? I was there. How was, how was it there? It was it was a good game. I have to say. Did you, did you feel the way you feel right now? No, because I feel that Sterling is ready this time. Jack Brennan will tip it off against Zubek. Zubek's going to win it. Haddonfield has the ball now. Number 23 tries to up a play. Give to Zubek. 34 open in the lane. Jack Brennan with the rebound. Or Try and push it up to Hassan. Hassan guarded close by Wilson. Be Sterling ball. I'd like to mention early in this game that Haddonfield has won 59 straight Colonial Conference games. That's an impressive number, Brett. Their last loss was a 71-57 loss to Paulsboro. Hey, Mike that Scott. That was in 2003. Was it? Yes, it was. Here's Jack Brennan trying to get to Travis Washington for three. No, it can't go in. Don't count it. Jack Brennan. Jack Good Brennan heart. with a great show for the athletics. If they can keep box, boxing out Zubek like they are, I think they have a chance in this game. I'll tell you what, I think Jack really has his work cut out for him tonight. Hiltner, Hiltner put these men together for this game very well. Travis Walsh shake off the pesky defense. Gonna much. Be, it's going to be Sterling Ball. Sterling Ball. Travis Washington to inbound it. You can see. Look at that's a That's a sea I, of people. We have to talk about the size of the crowd here. This Our is Ellen. probably the biggest game Sterling's had in a very long time. There, there Let me tell you about the sixth man. They have really been quite the sixth man. They've been the something season. special. You're right. I think we, we might have an interview with their leader. Later in the game, Warren Croxton's going to go out to him. I think that's right. Warren Croxton will be joining us from in, in the crowd. We'll have interviews from all over the place. You're going to be able to see the true intensity of the crowd out there. And I'll tell you what, Sterling is doing an, 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 a, a tremendous job of ball control here early in the first quarter. And it's a smart idea to keep, right. to keep Haddonfield to a lower score because if you get Haddonfield get going, they're just going to keep going. But if you slow them down, try to slow the pace of the game down this game. If they, don't, if they don't touch the ball, they can't score any points. They are setting the tone for this game. Art Ellis trying to shake off a man. Give, to give Haddonfield credit, they are playing tight defense. Sterling hasn't been able oh. to get a shot off. That's true. This is very true. When you see a 7'2 man down the lane, you don't usually want to drive. That's right. It's going to be a lot, lot of shots from the outside. 
Jack Brennan with the ball into Hassan. Back to Mike Scott. Looks like uh, Sterling has actually started a lot of the guys who were uh, a little bit better at taking the outside shot. Not the normal starting line. Back Almost. to Jack. Gets it back. Hassan trying to slow it down. Pretty fast for a big man. Gets to Art Ellis. Puts it up for two. Oh, oh what a play by Art. Puts it in for an easy bucket. That was over Zubek. That's a beautiful put back by Art. Great defense by Zubek, but the determination of Art Ellis made that ball. Sterling sticking with the full court press here in the opening minute. Nice block by Jack Brennan. Nice defense by Jack Brennan right there. Guys, I still have the chills. Ellis, get it up. Draws the foul. He's going to go to the line for two there, gentlemen. I can't even hear myself thinking here. Me neither, Chris. Now, if you notice on that play, you can see Brian Zubek is a little overwhelmed here by this Sterling crowd. You don't want to cat him out of this yet. I think once he gets in his rhythm, Sterling's going to have a little bit more trouble. But that was great defense by Jack Brennan. Art Ellis of 80% free throw shooter. Averages 18 points a game. Can't get that one. He is uh, among the South Jersey leaders in scoring. He's, he's averaging 18 points a game, actually. He has um, 372 points on the season. I almost 19 yes. points a game. Just recently, Art hit his 1,000th point in his career. That's right. Had the ceremony on Channel 19, Brett. It's a good game, too. Nice D by Sterling. Sterling trying to wear this. Over, over three minutes. Down. Over three minutes gone by here in the first, and uh, Hadfield still hasn't scored. Didn't I tell you it was going to be a low-scoring affair? Zubak puts it in for two. I'll tell you yeah. what, though, you can't, you can't defend that kind of size. That, that is what we expect from him. It's not going to be an easy cast. Oh. He had a good look at the shot, but couldn't get it in. Wilson. Oh, stolen Jack. by Jack Brennan. You don't, don't expect to push it up. You don't expect Jack to have the quickness, but he's a great defender both ways of blocking and stealing. That he is. Oh, they call a travel on that, on Mike Scott. All shucks is what I got to say for that. He like the call, but here's he's a, too nice of a, a guy to say of anything. Oh, that's not a replay. Yes, it is. Oh, was it? Yes, it was. Two back at half court. Gets it to Wilson. Oh! Wow, they call that defense. They call defensive on that. I, I'm going to have to disagree with that one. It was close. It's hard to say. Oh, I think I think Mike beat him to the spot there. You know, it, it's really a shame when you, a game this big, you don't, you don't, you don't want to see refs take over the game. You want to let the kids play. You know? Yeah, I hear you. At the same time, they don't want anybody getting hurt. Yes. Ties the game up at three. Blake Wilson, the man at the free throw line right now, also in the top for scoring with Sterling, or with Haddonfield. He's got 17.4 points a game this season. He's actually going to Princeton. Impressive Princeton. Yes. That, you got to be a smart kid to go to Princeton. That's right. Listed at 6'4". Wow. I call offensive on that. that. That was an offensive foul, guys. I, I can't. I'm sorry, but that's a, that's a I, bad I'd call. I'd like to see that again to uh, really know. I, we got a replay here, Rio. Now, I, I don't see how they could have called a defensive foul on this side and an offensive foul down this way, you know? I just uh, It's hard to say, but, you know, it's not an easy job, and I think the referees have done a nice job this season. Got to so. be consistent. That's the main thing. It's still early in the game. The refs have to get warmed up, too. Dennis Soboleski just made a beautiful pass to Blake Wilson, and he put the bucket in. And, uh, guys, guys, do you think Sterling might be a little... Tired right now? Nah, not this early. They're well conditioned. I don't think so. Hilton are trying to get out of play to his to his men. Ellis to Hassan. Gets it to Travis Washington. At this point in the game, Sterling's really gotta slow it up. They don't wanna get into a They don't wanna get into a rhythm where they're gonna feel trapped. There's that size of Brian and Zubek again as he just blocks that shot there by Hassan Presley. We 
see Sterling's ball inbounded. Inbounded by Art Ellis. This crowd is absolutely raucous right now. Like Sam Washington and Jared Clark checking into the game. For Hassan. Hassan. And Mike Scott. Hassan and Mike Scott going to get a breather. Two defensive specialists on this team, Jared Clark and Sam Washington. They're both juniors, and they've been having a great season. Okay. I'll tell you what, Jared Clark, to me, has been a surprise. He's really been getting a lot of minutes. Didn't realize that he was the athlete that he was. And he, he you know what, he's impressed us all, I think. Yeah. Here's Sam here. Gets it to Art. Washington for two. Can't get it. Check with the rebound. There's that size again by Zubak. It was a nice Wilson rebound open. by Jack. Puts it in. Wow. Well, that's what I'd like to call a slam dunk. That kind of play is a killer. That's a momentum stopper there. I, I, I think uh, all the momentum is to Haddonfield's side right now. That it is. Jack Brennan slowing it down. Gets it to Travis. Washington. Back to Art. Uh, Ellis for two. Yes! yes! That's what they're going to need from Art. He's going to have to not be afraid to take that shot. He's got a great shot. He doesn't miss very often. That's right. As long as he gets his confidence down, he can keep Sterling in this game. Minute 30 left in the quarter. Hadn't filled up by three. There's Subak again. Gets it to 34 for three. Count it. A great play by Art to keep that in there. It was number 33, Joey McCarney, trying to steal it. I believe, is that an offensive foul? Yeah, all right, we're going to show a replay of that dunk, that this great is, play. This is impressive. That was a great pass. And the slam there, that really does take some momentum away from Sterling and its fans. Right, Jack Brennan going to get a breather here. That was Sam Washington's first personal foul. Now you're going to see these referees real, really slowing down the game here, and you don't like to see this, but... I, mean, I think what uh, the Hatfield coach was saying was that uh, Jack Brennan, I saw it too, had a, had a hold of uh, Zubek's shirt, his jersey on that last uh, offensive series for Hatfield. Asking the refs to watch out for that. Offensive. It's a great play by Sam Washington. He's a great defensive player. It's plays like that that are also going to keep Sterling in this game. I actually disagree with that call too. I thought that was on Sterling. We'll take it. We will take it. Ellis trying to get a play in. Six point lead right now for Haddonfield, 11 to five with about 40 left here in the first. Here's Mike DeShields. Three point specialist for the Knights. Stolen. Trying to force a pass there. Out on, out on Haddonfield. This Haddonfield team is playing tight defense. You can sense the nerves in these younger Sterling players. But I think once they get down to it, they're gonna play a little bit better here. Mike Scott's got it. Gets it to Presley. I thought Presley was going to put that one up. Stolen by Haddonfield. Here's Blake Wilson. And Subak. Uh, that looks like a walk to me. Can't, I'm not sure what the refs are looking at. You just can't defend that. That's the end of the first quarter. Haddonfield leading by eight. We're gonna try and get it to Croxton. We're gonna head over to Warren Croxton now. No. We are not. At the end of the quarter, we're gonna head to Warren Croxton. There's a shot. It's like we're having a bit of a technical problem with Warren's mic right now. 
Warren's mic doesn't seem to be uh, working. The cheerleaders in front of us. How do they do that? That was impressive. Let me tell you something about cheerleading, gentlemen. Hello. That was impressive. Mr. Tambo, there how do you go. feel about the atmosphere of today's game, bro? I'm really excited. Our uh, students are, have really come out to support the team. We have an incredible super fan uh, section that's a show in itself. The kids are bringing a lot of school spirit to the game tonight. And considering the importance of this game, it, it's uh, it's really great to see them. All right, we're going to go back to the action. Take it away, guys. Thank you, Warren. Back in action. Mr. Domenico, or, or excuse me, Mr. Tannenbaum, our fine principal. Keeps his place in shape, doesn't he? He does, he does. Keeps everybody in check. I always see him in the morning, you know, on high ho. <laughs> Back to the game, though. Just Smelling once again with good ball control here. Jack for three. Oh! No. Stoic's going to get the rebound. It's Hassan, Hassan Presley going to put it up. No foul. I'll tell you what, number 25 on Haddonfield. Blake Wilson looked like he was getting a bit testy there, swinging his elbow. Whoa. I see an elbow by Jack back of Matt Zubek. Brian Zubek's head, I'm sorry. Hassan, looking for an open man. This is it to Jack. To Washington. Both teams still trying to get a feel for each other. Looks like Haddonfield's got the upper hand. Hassan gets it back. Hassan driving in the lane. Sterling ball. We're going to say it's out. You can see offensively, Sterling's not only having trouble because of Zubek, but the other players on Haddonfield that don't always get the credit they deserve, they're all very talented players. Very tight defense. Park gets it from Washington. These fans are getting into it. Sterling down by eight. Not the start they wanted to look for. Another Sterling ball. Sterling's passing lanes seem to be uh, closing as well. They had been moving the ball pretty well. Now it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble doing that. I think they're going to have to go back to their old form and take a little, take a lot more shots. They come to this game playing it seemingly with a different game plan than usual. Back to the drawing board. I think if they go to their old plan, more Hassan shots. Gets the bucket. The no, no good. No basket. S saying that one was on the floor. No basket. I guess there's no continuation in high school basketball. Here's a replay of that. Ooh. See, now you got a player like Hassan who can make a shot like that. You need him to take it more. Art gets it to Travis. Art's going to take the point now. 6-10 left here in the second quarter. It's 13-5 in favor of Haddonfield right now. I think, I, I think we have a penalty coming up on Jack here. He was uh, in a... He was grappling with a Haddonfield defender for position. Jack Brennan's listed at 6'5". Doesn't, doesn't look 6'5 next to Zubek. I don't think anybody looks 6'5 next to Chris, Zubek. how tall are you? Uh, Julian, I'm about 6'6". Six six. I didn't know they stacked stuff that high. Honestly, I did not know that. I think we should have put you out on that court to muscle that guy around a little bit. Wilson puts it in for a hard, tough, tough ball bucket. Going down by 10 now. Ellis trying to put the game and hit. Another block now. They've got to watch the body there on Zubek. I mean, I understand he got all ball, but when you get your body on the other man's body, that's a foul, and I'm surprised the refs aren't calling it. Another penalty coming up here on Jack Brennan. There's a replay of that. 
You know, it's hard you know to what? watch. You gotta, give, you gotta give Jack credit, though. I mean, he's got two personal fouls. Nine. He's got nine inches. Zubek has nine inches on Jack Brennan. Nice like Steve on Art Ellis. He's really got his work cut out for him. 524 left in the second period. Stone still down by still down by 10. Wilson for three. Can't get it. Ellis comes out with the rebound. I think they need to push the more there. Jack draws the foul. Go to the line to get a couple foul shots. He's a 70% free throw shooter. That was a nice feed by Art to see Jack open there. Now, maybe if they try to get him in the transition, Zubek doesn't have the speed that the other players have. So if you get him, catch him back, sitting back, that's the way we'll get our points down low. Also, these free throws are going to be key for Sterling. They are. Free throws are always key. As in every game. Seventy percent free throw shooter. Averages eight points a game. Gets both of them. Mike DeShields checks in for the game for Jack Brennan. Eight point lead right now for Adfield. Fifteen to seven. Five fourteen left here in the second period. Second quarter. Oh, a nice block. Nice D by Travis Washington. Blake Wilson was surprised on that. I don't think he knew uh, T-Mac as he likes to call There's a replay of that. I just see Travis Washington. That's a foul. I'm not sure who, who it's on. I'm going to say Mike the Shields, but I'm not 100% sure. No, it was, it was on, I think it was on Travis, yes, it was on Travis Washington. That's Mike DeShields, 23. This, this is Spencer, Spencer Reed misses his first free throw. He's a 6'4 junior. Misses them both. Mike just rebound. This is a great chance for Sterling to get four points on him. Come back a little bit closer. Oh, what a drive by Hassan Presley. Reverse layup there on uh, Zubek. That was an amazing play. <laughs> Zubek guarded by Art. That's a travel. Out of He's going to call it a push. He's going to call it a push. That's I am right. sorry. That's but I, Zubek was pushing off Art there as he brought the ball up the court. I, I, can, I, disagree I can see with that. the push. I can see the push. I, I saw the push too, but now you'll see the drive by Hassan here, and it was beautiful to get the ball under the reach of Zubek and then bring it around. For a big man, he can really move. What you say, Hassan? Yes. Now this Haddonfield team is can compare to the West Effort football team. They've won 28 straight games until this season. Still on beat them. Here's Art. Half court gets it to Hassan. The shields. These fans are going crazy. You can hear the Sterling crowd going crazy in the background. Hassan for three. Yes! Down to a three point game, and you can begin to feel momentum shift here in favor of the Knights. Back to their half. You can see press. it in Hassan Presley's eyes that he is not scared of this Haddonfield team. A team that. Oh, that's, Easy a, that's a great drive by Haddonfield. Easy bucket Split the defense. Haddonfield. And it's a nice way to slow down Sterling. Hassan for three. No. Gonna get the rebound, rebound and put it in. It's up for two. It's a great play by Arnellis to be there on the offensive boards. Three point game now. The Sterling offense has really started to catch the That's going to be a steal of Zubek. Can't handle the pass. Art, Art, Art's going to take it himself. And Out of bounds on Haddonfield. It's going to be Sterling ball. All right, you can feel Sterling's offense start to catch their stride here. 
three. Really, it's only a three-point game, and this is uh, this is big here. This next possession. I think they're starting to realize that if they push the ball as fast as they can, they're going to get it better. Okay, guys, we're going to go over to Warren Croxton now for another interview. Hello, oh, Mr. Bowles. I was just. I'm just going to ask you, what do you think of Haddonfield so far, being number one team in South Georgia? We're close to it. What do I think about them being number one? Yeah. I think they are number one. And, you know, everybody's out after them. And Sterling always gives them a middle. The first game this year was 30-26 at the half. Uh, Sterling sort of went to a little lapse in the third quarter, got outscored 16-5, to and that set the tempo for the rest of the game. Is Brian Zubek the best player you've seen? In all the years of, South, of riding with South Jersey, Cody Post? Uh, he, he's certainly one of the best big men. Uh, you know, he, he probably is the best big man, but there's other players who, who did more, and, you know, were, were more well-rounded. And, and uh, But, you know, he is the best big man, and would, I would say probably be in the top five or six players that I've seen. I'm Rob Bowles, player for South Jersey, Cody Post. Thank you. Back to the guys in the booth. Thanks, Warren. Thank you, Warren. He's doing a great job, isn't he, guys? Yes. It's Warren He's Croxton, everybody. And I just want to say, this this is all put together by our, our great friend, Tad Kuzinski. Kuzineski. Kuz, is it? Kuzineski. Kuzineski. He's a great man. Came to Sterling. Mr. K. Yeah. And, um... He's, he, brought, he's brought Channel 19 to the next level. He really has. And, you know, you can't say enough about a man like Tad Kuzineski. You right. really can. He's he a can. great this, guy. The students also make it what it is, too. Back to the game. Mike DeShields with a, with a rebound. Back to Art. Sterling, uh, their last offensive uh, possession, they, they turned the ball over. Turnovers are going to be key. They cannot turn the ball over against this Haddonfield, this Haddonfield team. Art trying to shake off a man. Hassan. He's going to drive, and they're not going to call the foul, but they are going to say it went off on Haddonfield. So it's going to be Sterling's ball. Jared Clark checking into the game from Michael Scott. 6-1 forward, junior. And I'll tell you what, uh, although Haddonfield has the, the clear size advantage, Sterling's holding their own, and wow. Nice defensive play by Haddonfield. Pesky by Haddonfield. You can see the quick hands is helping him out a lot. Playing physical, Hassan is. Sterling fans around. are really getting into it now, guys. Washington for two. Can't get it. Wilson Wilson with the rebound. Mike. Once again, you cannot defend that. You probably could have defended that. Uh, you know what? I probably would have still been back on the offensive side. I can't run like that. You know... Add on Sterling, head field ball. 146 left in the second period. Obviously, referees can be a momentum There's shifter, a but this is the biggest momentum shifter of all. Those, those slam dunks, they just, they just, they catch in the heart. Yeah, and you know, one of the only teams in the conference that can do it. Haddonfield got a great team. All right, I think we're gonna try to go over to Warren Croxton on this one. He can't. Warren, we're going over to Warren right now. Hi, everybody. Uh I'm behind the school table and I'm just giving a look at the Sterling Super fans. Always looking at Energetic. Always looking at Energetic as always. Very really excited with this game. Sterling's only down by five, so I expect them to keep it up the rest of the game. Back to you guys. Thanks, Warren. Thank you, Warren. If you didn't see him, Warren was over at the booth there. I'll tell you what, he is doing a terrific job, isn't he? He really is. He, he looks like he belongs over there. He does. He, you know what? He belongs in sports broadcasting. He I'll does. tell you that one. 19-14 right now in favor of Haddonfield. Minute, minute 35 left here in the second quarter. Oh, good D Sterling there. Mark tips that one out of bounds. It's going to be Haddonfield ball. 133 left. Oh, a st Great stolen. defense by Jared oh. Clark. Puts it in. He can't put it in. Hassan with the rebound. That was Jared Clark, not Hassan. Yeah, Jared Clark's really, really having a strong season for the Knights. He's going to go to the line for a few foul shots here. Art got a bad bounce on that ball, but Jared was able to get under it. 
It's a replay of that. Or Ellis can't put it in. Was that, was that Jared? Yes. yes, it was. This is his first free throw. You know, you can't stress enough how much his free throw means to the game. You're right, Warren. Or, excuse me, Julian, you can't. Junior defensive specialist Jared Clark. Makes it. Four point Four. game. To Zubak. To Wilson. Driving in the lane. They're going to call the foul there. I can't help but notice Travis that Zubak looks, he's, he looks to be tired here late in the first half. <laughs> looks to be tiring. It looked like he was a little bit uh, slow getting up the court there that last, Blake the last drive there. Blake Wilson go to the line. You got to wonder what it's like to be Brian Zubak. I mean, you have this great talent, great skill, you know, you're really tall. You know you're going to a great college. He probably gets all the girls, too. But he's got a, a lot of South Jersey. Yes, you know? he does. A lot of people don't like him just because he's that good. You know, I'm sure that the people have respect for the man. You have to have respect for I the mean, man. He's a great player. And he I makes mean, the difference on this Haddonfield team. Uh, let's be honest. Nobody likes him, and he has to know that. That's everybody everybody knows who he is. He's Yeah, he's, he's an enemy of Sterling. That he is. Thought that Mike one was Scott good. guarded toughly. That's it in for another easy two. Eight point game right now in favor of Haddonfield. Sterling so well in this game. It's a dangerous pass by Hassan, but it leaves Art wide for the. He got tripped up there while he was going for, going for the it's drive. Be a foul. He'll go to the line. Here's a replay of that foul. Art sees the seam. He realizes that's there, but he just got tripped up and couldn't make couldn't yeah. make the shot. It's, it's a shame. Not, he, will not, he will not. I, go to line. I thought I thought there should have been a few foul shots there, but uh, the referees disagree with me once again. Me too. Mike Scott. That's it to Jared. Jared Clark. That's a son. Now Jared, they look it. they look alike, man. Yeah, they do. They do. Trying to shake off a man. Gets it back Ster to the point, Art Ellis. Sterling seems to be uh, controlling the ball once again here. Mike Scott. That's oh, goal tending. Very good call there. Great job by Mike Scott to pick Has up to, those two points. If I was that tall, I'd probably try to goaltend every time, guys. Yeah, it was definitely on a downward motion at that point. It was a nice try by Zubek, though. There by 8.6 seconds left in the second period. Six point game. Hassan will inbound it. If Sterling could bring us within four or three before the half, it would be huge. Possibly three. Our Ellis can't put it in. Going to the foul. line. I think it was Going to the line for two with .2 seconds left here in the first half. That's, this is a great chance for Sterling and Sam Washington to bring this, Sterling within this four. This here is big. It's a lot of pressure on this young player, but he's had a great season. He is. 70% free throw shooter. Ten points a night. Really, really strong year. Coming off the bench, that's a heck of a player for Sterling right there. Ten points a night in your bench. Yeah. Point, you know point. Sterling's got some depth. 0.2 seconds left in the half. This will be it if he makes it. Let's and welcome to the halftime report. Sterling is down by five points to Haddonfield. I'm Julian Unger alongside Warren Croxton, Chris Bender, Brett Hagan. Now, Brett, what do you think Sterling will have to do in the second half? to stop Zubek or even get back in this game? 
Well, I think a stone job of stopping Zubek, like you said. Uh, they've held him to a small amount of points, and um, I think really it's on the offensive side that we have to be a little bit better. The few few layups that we've missed, a few offensive rebounds that we could have had and we didn't capitalize on. But overall, defensively, I think it's been a good game so far. Now, Warren, with a man, a man of a lot of sports knowledge, what do you think? I th I think like Brett said at the uh, like they've held Zubek to. They failed two back to it. Not a lot of points. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's under double digits, right? Well, um, if they can keep Zubek under double digits for the second half, and they can actually put back their misses, because I know they've missed a lot of layups and a lot of easy baskets, and they can get to the foul line, because they're a good foul shooting team, they can come back and win this game. Chris, let's hear Let's light on the game. Well, you know, you can't you can't guard Zubek. And there's nothing that you can do about him. But, you know, I think with the, with the offensive firepower and the depth that the Knights have, uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna come away with a victory here, guys. Uh, I really like the way Sterling's been controlling the ball, and uh, let me tell you something, guys. I think they're gonna upset them here. They're gonna come out firing in the second half, and and we're gonna win this one. We sure hope so. Hello, and welcome back to the second half action here in Sterling versus Haddonfield. Haddonfield has the lead, 23-18 right now, and the ball. I'm Brett Hagen alongside of Julian Unger and Chris Bender. Up there, dudes. Nice to be back. Get ready for some action here. Inbounding the ball is Joey Malcarney for Haddonfield. Almost a backcourt violation there. It's close. Zubek's got the ball now. And he's going to be fouled on the floor by Hassan Presley. That was actually a foul there, uh, Brett, on Michael Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Just for anybody at home that's uh, keeping tabs. Zubek gets the ball, and he's going to be fouled again by Mike Scott. That's right. Mike wants to be careful here. He's a key player of the Knights, and uh, he doesn't want to find himself in foul trouble. We're glad to have you here on Channel 19. It's Paul's for station identification. Zubek slammed that one home with a nice pass from Mal Carney. Now they're going to call the offensive foul. Mike Scott has picked up three very quick fouls in 18 seconds. There's, this is the dunk here coming up. It's a powerful Zubek dunk. This is nice. Chris, have you ever seen the movie Bedazzled? No. Brett, how about you? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. There's some good defense by the Knights there. They're going to get the ball back. And Assad's going to go up and get... He's gonna get it. Down it goes. He's gonna shoot one here. <laughs> Guys, he get, he gets my player up of the half. He's so gonna far. get it. He's gonna, he's gonna get it if he can get this foul shot here. That's a three-point play. That would be huge. That might have been the slacks hoagie shack play of the game so far. Tough defense by the Shields there. I'm not sure what the call is here. I believe they're calling a foul on Sterling here. Mal Carney's going to inbound it. Sterling with a quick four-team foul. And I'm going to bet he's going to Zubek real high. And I was wrong. An offensive foul called here on Haddonfield. And that uh, was on Blake Wilson. The referees seem to be really tightening, uh, tightening the calls here. Jack Brennan with the ball. He's going to get it to Mike DeShields. He's got a lane. He's going to take the shot. He's going to make it. Three-point game. Three-point game, fellas. Mike I'm getting excited. That was a deep two. Tough defense by Art there, and the ref's going to call the foul. They're not letting much go tonight. Art's going to have to be careful on that. If anything else, guys, when, when Haddonfield takes the bus ride home tonight, they're going to know that they were in a battle. That's true. This is quite a battle here. Tonight is our independence night. is going to be called out on Sterling and Jack Brennan is arguing with that call. He was unhappy like with that one. Now Carney's going to inbound it. 
Gonna get to Blake Wilson for the long three, and he's not gonna get it rebound by Hassan Presley. Sterling can tie on this possession. Art's taking the ball up now, giving it to Travis. Travis back to Art. Shields with it now. Hassan with a quick pass into Art. He's getting pushed around a little bit, and the refs aren't going to call that one. Once so again, I believe in uh, referee consistency, and uh, I don't know. I don't know about now that Carney's one. Carney's got it. Spencer Reed now. Spencer going to look into Zubek. Zubek's going to get whacked. A lot of Sterling with already five team fouls. They're, that's dangerous. That might be the only way to guard Six. him. Right, right now it looks like they're going with the Hack-A-Shack. The hack a Zubek. Jack Brennan with four personal fouls. Six team. Zubak at the line. Jared Clark's going to check into the game. Excuse my voice. I seem to be coming down with a bit of a... I have a case of the sniffles. Yeah. I do, yes. It is the cold and flu season. It, yeah, that's true. Chris, what do you take for that? Uh, you know. Zertek D. Uh. All right, Art's got the ball now. Bringing it in. Over to Hassan. He's going to bring the ball up. You can hear it chanting, and it's electrifying in here, isn't it, Chris? I've got the chills. Jared Clark. Art's got it now. I thought, I thought Art was going was gonna to take that one. It was a deep three, but I think that he has the range to drop that. Blake Wilson's also got some height on him, though, being even though he is a guard. It's going to be called out on Haddonfield. A nice call by the ref. It's good defense there by Haddonfield. Not really too many open lanes there. Looked like Art may have found one, but they were uh, there to defend it. I like the way Sterling's not giving them much offensive possession time. Showing a lot of heart. But it's I'd, good to uh, see. I'd like to see Sterling on more of the fast breaks. Yeah. I think that's when they're at their best, when they're moving the ball. and uh, They're a quick team. It's what they've been built for. Yes. Very true. Travis Washington with the ball now to Art. Art's being guarded by Mal Carney. Jared got Blake. Oh, the shield was open there for a three for him. A nice, nice move by fire. Hassan Presley. Three point game once again, fellas. Hassan's playing beautifully on Zubek. They're going to call the offensive on number 25, Blake Wilson there. And we got a technical, technical foul called on Blake Wilson. Sterling fans are pretty happy about that, but I don't know about Haddonfield. Tee him up. What a play right there. That man is fabulous. There's no other word but fabulous to describe him. I didn't see what happened on that the, for the technical. I don't think the refs this liked Blake Wilson's mouth. No. And you know what? You can't have a potty mouth on the basketball court. Refs aren't going to deal with it, especially you hear like this. this. This place is absolutely going crazy right now. It's electrifying. Are we? All right. I think we're going to go. We're going to go to Warren. Not yet. Not yet. Sorry. No. Not enough. Hi, everybody. I'm with Shane McGlory, leader of the Super Fans. Shane, how do you feel this game compared to the last NFL game? I think it's a lot better because we're slowing the ball down more, and then we have more support here for our night. So, I have a good feeling about tonight. You think that you think Stillers going to come up with the upset? What was that? So, do you think Stillers going to come up with the upset? Yeah, I do. We're going to be coach champs too. We're going to go back to the booth as Art makes the first free throw. Wow, guys. I, I really feel bad for Warren up there. I hope he doesn't get trampled. I mean, we can't even take footage up there because it wouldn't be allowed to be shown on TV. It's that crazy up there. Yeah, really. Sterling's got the ball back. It's a point game, chance guys. to take the lead here. It would be their first lead of the game, I believe. No, they were leading in the beginning. Art's going to get fouled, and he's going to the line again. A great play by Art Ellis. Guys, I've got the chills. Still? I'm excited here. I'm, I think we're going to do it. Wow. Now it's still only the third period. They have to keep this solid play up. 
very possible they could lose themselves. This Haddonfield team knows how to do oh, it. Oh, can't get it to fall. That's all right. That's all right, guys. He's got it. That's why they give him two in case he misses one. He can still tie the game right here. 80% free throw shooter. Can't get the second. Well, they don't give him three in case he misses the second. But, yeah. That might come back to Hawk Sterling. Let's see if they can get a defensive stop here. Zubek just came from under the basket to put it to put it in, and now they're back up by three. I, I don't know how many times you can say it. Just can't guard that. Hawks got the ball, looking Ster to make a play. Sterling's tallest player is only six foot five. Uh oh. That shot out. was off the mark by Travis Washington. That would have tied the game, guys. 4.25 left in the third period to Zubek. They've got to do something about Zubek. It, it's hard to watch. It really is. Just like that, they have a five-point lead again. Nothing Sterling can't come back on, but it's still not easy. Son Presley with the ball. He's going to drive. He's going to take it to the lane, and they're not going to call the foul. Steinberger passes it. Zubek's got it. He's going to go again, and he's going to get it. And then he's going to say something. Time you know, out by Haddonfield. He's a good player, but he doesn't have to be a jerk. He should watch his mouth. Him yelling at our, our team like that, I don't like it at all. He's getting a bit boastful. Some cheerleaders. Looks like we got some cheerleading action coming on here. Uh oh, what do we got? What do we got? One, oh my goodness. Two. Oh! Hey! It's a shot of Sterling on the drawing board. Mr. Hiltner trying to. I'll tell you what, I was talking to my buddy Ed Krako today at lunchtime, and his logic is quite interesting. He said it's, it's only fair that since Haddonfield won the first one, there is they, the should let, man. they should let Sterling win the second. And you know what? I, I kind of like that theory. <laughs> Turn down that buzzer. They want to make sure it's pretty loud in here. That's right. And it is. You know what? That's, that six man needs to stay on their feet over there. And we got John Neckenchuck over John, there. John Neckenchuck has made his way. He, he has penetrated the Haddonfield crowd. If we could by any chance get a shot sometime. Can we get a shot of John Neckenchuck? He is in the Haddonfield's bench. That it's On the next break, maybe we'll show you that. John Neckenchuck penetrating the Haddonfield defensive crowd. Art's got the ball now. Sterling down by seven. Looking to help Sterling out a little bit here. The shields over to Presley. Presley's going into Art down low. Art's going to put it out to Presley. He's going to take Hassan. the three. Yes! Hassan Presley has been fabulous this night. Gets the three ball, the drop. And he's going to have to keep doing it if he wants to keep Sterling in this game. No good, but a great offensive Haddonfield, and they're going to be able to put it back up. Sterling needs to keep their composure here. Don't rush the shots. Looks like Had oh, here's Hassan trailing up again. Plenty of time, and to be able to see them hit their threes and even nice twos, they're still right in this game. That's right. Sterling fans still in it. Only a six-point game here in the third with 2.45 remaining. Hart, oh! Just misses the three. Golly geez, I'll tell you what, a, a shot by Art there really would have been, I think that would have really put the momentum in Sterling's favor. That foul's going to be on Hassan before, I think they're saying before the shot. You know what, I think uh, a lot of the crowd was upset. I, oh, there it was, did you see that push there on Art by Zubek? Zubek pushed Art to the ground. He's a jerk. He's a bully. He's a goon. <laughs> He's a very good player though. <laughs> He's bullying the Sterling players. I, 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 I can't stand for that. Looks like they're just going to give Sterling the rebound here. Interesting strategy by Hattenfield. Could he make the one on one? Zubek wasn't happy with himself. About he was that. grimacing as he made his way up the court. Art might have gotten hit in the elbow there, but the refs aren't going to call it.
zubek has got the ball now. He's going to turn, and he's going to dribble with it, and he's going to... Offensive, offensive foul. foul. Great call. Oh, it's a good play by he looked, Sterling. He was, he was saying some obscenities there. Did you read his lips? No, I didn't. I, you know what? That though. is an offensive foul. As you can see in the replay, no foot movement. And uh, Haddonfield's arguing with the call, but a lot of calls have gone. A lot you know, of Sterling fans haven't. You know really what? I think they should tee him up again. Well, I won't tolerate this. Let's not lose it's our not heads up to here. You. It's not up to you. If it were, I think Sterling would win. <laughs> You're that indeed. You're probably right, Brett. Art's going to give the ball over. A timeout's going to be called by Sterling. All right, now we're going to go over to Warren for an interview with Mr. Domenico. Warren, can you hear us? Yes, Warren, we need, want you to talk to Reno. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Domenico. I was wondering, you've been a very big supporter of the Super fans this year. Yes. Why have you been such a big supporter of them? Well, I, I just love seeing the school spirit, and I think it's been good, clean school spirit. I think they've done a very nice job. I'm extremely proud of the student body. Uh, I think they do everything the right way, and uh, Sterling students are always me. That's why I love working here. And, uh, you know, the six-man sections really made this a very special season all the way around. Thank you, Mr. Domenico. Back to you guys in the booth. Thanks a lot, Warren. He's doing a great job. He really is. And so is Mr. K. I'll tell you what, those facial expressions that he was making there. <laughs> that was that was good. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a laugh out of those tomorrow when we watch this. Art with the ball now to Sam. Oh. Turnovers are gonna kill them here, guys. If they can't, they need to hold on to the ball. One thirty seven seconds. One minute and 37 seconds, sorry, in the third period. It's late in the game here for turnovers. We're going to need to see some tight defense here. We haven't seen that as of late with Sterling. So Bolesky's got it. He's going to give it into Zubek. As Zubek's going to miss it and get his own rebound and put it back. A nice play by Brian Zubek. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You just can't guard that. Hassan Presley with the ball. Over to Art. Art having a, a surprisingly quiet evening. You haven't heard his name too, too much. He's running the offense. But he, he, he makes plays happen. Even if he's not scoring, he That's makes right. things happen. Sam Washington for three, and he hits it. A I'm huge play by Sam Washington to keep these fans in it and to keep the rest of his team in it. That might be the momentum shifter here. A nice defensive play. Slowing the ball up a little bit. There's a police officer over there arguing with the official about whose ball it should be. Oh, his, his name is Lucky. That's, a, that's, his, that's his name. Or his nickname. Ref's going to call the foul there. I think Sterling was looking for the travel. Keep in mind, freshman and JV played before this. Beat, beat Haddonfield both times. Well, that's because Haddonfield doesn't have Brian Zubek on their JV and freshman team. Nothing against Blake Wilson and the rest of the guys. It's a nice shot of the seven-foot giant, Matt Zubek. It should be Brian Zubek. Actually, guys, I believe Hassan Presley last year uh, played on Haddon Heights, and he uh, had a... He and Zubek played, they had a real tough game from what I heard. Uh, Hassan Presley is known greatly around Sterling for the man on ESPN. He, uh, he hit a buzzer beater for yes. Haddon Heights. Yes, that's and, true. And uh, it was on ESPN. Top play. Yeah, and it was a great play. He's got a great shot. He does, as he's proven here thus far tonight. Art with the ball now. The looks Shields like, has it. Looks like they... Might be playing for the final shot here, but he better dribble the ball. He's going to get a five-second move. 15 seconds down. left. Art's going to drive in. Find a moat. Find. He's got Jared open to Art. Art's got the shields, and he's going to shoot. The shield for three. Oh. Can't get it. Jared's got the rebound. He's going to put it back up, and they're not going to call a foul. And it's going to end like that. No foul. That's the end of the third period. 
Third quarter, the score is 38-32, a six point deficit for Sterling. And now we're gonna go over to Warren Croxton, who's interviewing a Courier Post writer. Again. All right, here we, here we go, we're going over to Warren. Hi guys, I'm with Walt Burroughs once again. And Mr. Burroughs, what is your thoughts on the game been so far? Well, it, it, I think and it, Sterling made a good run there, and I think this is going to bat Zubek early on. I think he showed you what he was made of because he's the guy that sort of reestablished a little order for Haddonfield. Uh, but Sterling was making a move. A couple of guys were on the bench. Well, they had just lost Wilson to a technical foul, which was his fourth, incidentally, and uh, his fourth personal, which gives him one more. Sterling's got key players on the bench as well. So I'm sure they're, everybody's going to bring everybody back to start the fourth quarter, but uh, Ryan Zubek scored 13 of his team's 15 points in that third quarter. So it sort of tells you something about him. When, when push comes to shove, he answered the bell. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burroughs. Back to the guys in the booth. Thanks, Again, Warren. That was, that was Walt Burroughs being interviewed by Warren Croxton. And guys, Warren's just doing a great job out there, isn't he? He, he really is. He's doing a great job. Give him a contract. Guys, you gotta you gotta think with the somebody, heat. Somebody somebody get that man a job. With the heat in this arena, it's, it's gonna be some effect on the ball handling maybe. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna disagree with that. I'll really? tell you what, uh, it is hot here. I'm, it is. I'm, <laughs> I I feel like I'm playing in the basketball game. It's hot. We're sweating here. Art's got the ball. After the this game, we need to quarter. hit the showers, guys. Over to Hassan to Mike Scott back in the game. Sixth man getting back into it again. Mike's going to Jack. Jack to Travis. Travis is going to give it to Hassan. Tight defense by Haddonfield here. Sobolewski on Art. I'm sorry, Malcar Malcarney on Art. Art gets it to Hassan. Mike Scott. A wide open Hassan Presley. He's going to drive. He's going to push you back out of the way and get the foul. A nice play. Wow. Zubek has to hold his feet down. Coach Hiltner. Coach Hiltner's getting intense over there. He threw his orange juice. I think that seven foot two frame of his doesn't want to fall on the ground to get the offensive foul. I don't blame him because that's a far fall from the top. You know what? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. You would know. You're a tall man. I have, I've hit the ground a, a time or two in my day. Hassan's going to hit the first. And this is huge for Sterling. Did, did you guys see Hill throw his orange juice? I didn't see it. He threw his orange juice. You might have a replay of it later and in the game. As Mr. Pierkowski would say, that thing, that thing had great velocity. <laughs> <laughs> Hassan hits both to bring Sterling within four. That's only two baskets if you didn't know. A defensive steal here would be huge. 7-10 left in the fourth. Plenty of time. Zubek's Zubek. going to drive himself. Oh. They're going to call the foul. Oh, that is not a foul, guys. not a foul. I disagree here. And these refs, they, oh, my goodness. Well, guys, we got to handle the game. They got to keep it, they got to keep it under control here. I think, I think if they didn't call that foul, we'd be hitting Zubek a little bit more than that, and it would get out of control. You don't want to do that. I mean, the man has an unfair advantage already, but we can't take it away by changing the rules of the game. Can't get it to fall. Hassan with the rebound, gets it to Art. Art's gonna bring it in and give it over to Hassan, the high scorer in this game. We haven't been keeping tallies of the score, but Hassan has really... I can just tell. Mike Scott's got the ball. He's gotta be looking to go on the offensive. Great ball movement here by the Knights, once again, as they have shown. They've gotta penetrate, though, if they wanna do something right They now. do. Although they do know they have plenty of time. It's only a two basket deficit. It's going to be a steal. Oh, great play to slow that down. I'm sorry. Yes, that was on. That was Nolan Chimniecki. I don't know how to say his last name. That was a beautiful play by Art. With the steal. No Here foul. Chimniecki. Gets the rest of the defense down there. Check Monic. What? Well, there's going to be a foul on that play. 6-19 left here. 38-34 right now in favor of the Haddonfield Lady Bulldogs. Bulldogs. The Lady Bulldogs with a four-point lead right there. The Lady Bulldogs? Chris, that was out of character. 
Nice shot. Spencer Reed. Speaking of Lady Bulldogs, I believe Sterling Lady Knights are in town in Haddonfield playing right now. They are. They are. We wish them well. He's going to make the second. Somehow I don't think it's quite quite intense over at the Haddonfield Gymnasium as it here right here in Sterling Zone. You, I mean, I've seen some pretty tight games. And uh, it was pretty intense, the Haddonfield girls game here last time. It was. I, I actually announced that game, Brett. That was my debut Did in the uh, announcement booth, yes. The man, the myth, the legend was in attendance that day. Sam, Sam Dinellen. Sam, Sam Dinellen. That's right, he was. You can see him on Daily News Live on Comcast Sportsnet sometimes. But I had Warren Croxton's doing a great job tonight. He is. He's doing. He's just doing terrific. He's been all over the place. I'm sorry we haven't been able to show you everything, but he's getting the scoop everywhere you know what? tonight. He deserves, he deserves a round of applause because he's just, he's been all over the place. And he's, not gonna get, free throw he's not going to get the credit that he deserves, but I'll tell you what. We're gonna he give truly it does deserve it. Oh, a nice defensive play by Mike Scott to knock the ball away. And Jack Presley was there for him. Jack Brennan was playing very, very good defense. On, uh, right Sterling's going to need to cut the lead to four here. It's going to be key with uh, five and a half minutes left. Both teams without a foul to give. Art's going to drive to the lane. Stepped and out of bounds. We're going to say he stepped out of bounds. These refs sure know how to make it intense. Oh, a great play by Travis Washington. He runs into our the Knights video are tech it crew. Their all. Man, we still haven't got an interview with uh Oh, John Neckenchuck is not in Haddonfield attendance anymore. I think he might have got kicked out. Sterling's gonna have the ball now. Inbounds going back to Travis. Comes down with it, gets it to Art. Play the point. Looking to start a play. Ellis looking for an open shot. Jack's got it now, over to Hassan. Nice look to Travis. Oh, what That's a play! It. What a play! Wow, an opportunity for a three-point play here, fellas, which will give the Knights only a well, the Knights will only be down by three points if uh, they can, if uh, Travis can drop down this free throw. Travis has been quiet tonight, also, and oh. you know what? He is such a great player. I'll tell you if what, he guys. If you get involved in this in the last five minutes of this game, I know Sterling can pull it out. He's going to be a good one for the Knights, and I'm getting excited. I mean, this kid is only a sophomore. And also Hassan with the rebound can't handle it well, though. How do feel coming out with it? Sterling's defenses seem to be overwhelming Haddonfield a little bit, but they are cool in getting it to Zubek as always. A nice play by Zubek to get that one in. You just can't defend that. That's just Chris, I believe it. that's the tenth time you said that tonight. You know what? But you can't you can't say it enough when it comes to a guy like Zubek. Yeah, but you know that that was a skilled play right there. I have to hand it. Kill Chilton, are you all not a play to his men? Of course. A nice move. Oh, right wow. Four-point game once again, guys. And don't go anywhere. Oh, oh it's it's still. Oh. It was a nice try by Art and Mike Scott there, but Zubek managed to get his hands on it. Zubek giving the, the officials some business again. They're giving them the business. For three. It's there. It. It's there. And now Sterling's got a chance to come within two and possibly one. Four minutes left in this game. Art. Oh, can you imagine if he made that shot? I'll tell you what, the people were going, they were going to er erupt in here. Driving in, and he's going to get it. Now, Sterling's going back down six. Plenty of time left, three and a half minutes. They're going to try to get it in down low. Sterling down by six. Fourth period. Back out to Art, out top. Three three minutes and 18 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's a six point game Travis right now in favor of Haddonfield. Chris, are you excited? Are I you? Ex I'm excited. 
Excited's not the word. What is the word? Ecstatically excited. So he's gonna have to move the ball now, down by six points. It's only two possessions if they can hit two threes, but I'm sure what they're doing right now. I think they're trying to recall taking their it game slow. Plan. They're taking it slow, trying to get the offense organized. They look like they might be winded a little bit. Oh, Travis. I think they want to go with as few plays as possible here. No. No foul. Zubek took the ball and hit Hassan in the head with it. And I don't think the refs were looking. words here and now Zubek's pointing in the ref's face he's pointing in the ref's face and I'm surprised the referee's letting him do it he's almost bodying the ref up right now folks. you can't do that you guys you just can't do that that is ridiculous that they did not call a foul there that referee should be insulted that he just got showed up by Zubek that is all right we're gonna we're gonna go to Warren we're gonna go right now. I, I'm with the mayor of Stratford, Mr. Andrew Richie. Mr. Andrew Richie, what do you think of the game so far? It's a great game. I'm a Haddonfield graduate, and all three of my sons went to Sterling, and had two conference champions, they played one. It's a great game. Uh, Haddonfield's a great team, but Sterling is really doing a great job. Do you think Sterling can pull up the upset? Absolutely, with a couple more turnovers. If we had made our foul shots, we'd be winning now. Thank you, Mr. Andalucci. Back to you guys in the booth. Thanks, Warren. Great job, Warren. God, Warren's doing such a great job tonight. Zubek's going to be at the line now. Oh, we're going to go to another timeout. Guys, I am just, I am, I am still quite upset over that. That, re that referee was showed up, shown up right there by Zubek, and he did, he just let it go. You can't. Well, when you I, have a full ride to Duke, and you know you're going to be in the NBA. You know what? I think that get, referee was scared of. Well, you got a big head, and I think I'd have a head like that too. Golly, geez. I'm, I'm upset right now, guys. Shot at some of the fans right now. Sellout crowd. I, can't, I cannot believe that that referee just let that happen. Oh, my goodness. Chris, just let it go, man. I can't. I cannot let something like that go. There for Sterling. I do give fans. the referees credit for getting in there quick and, and breaking up the, the potential, the potential uh, you know, scuffle there. But, I mean... Oh my! Well, it's uh, 2:25 left here in the fourth quarter. Fans it's, uh, 40, getting a little antsy. 44 to 38 here uh, in favor of Haddonfield. Both teams without a foul to give. Oh my goodness! Dan Fred, do you agree with me? I agree. I'm surprised that Zubek was allowed to get away with it. My goodness, I am. My feathers are quite ruffled right I, now. I don't think Art Ellis would have gotten away with that. I, I don't either. I don't either. Zubek's going to hit the first one. It's like Zubek's exchanging words with a couple Sterling players over there. That gives, uh, gives them an eight-point lead right now. Sterling's going to have to pick up the pace a little bit here. Maybe they can get hot from behind the arc. It's Michael for three. Mark for three. Can't get it. Off the mark. It's almost like he knew he was going to miss that one, Brett. Joey McCarney with the ball now. He's going to give it to Soboleski. Over to Chiamaniki. Zubek's going to pound his way in to give him a 10-point lead. It's a tougher come right now for Sterling. It's going to be tough. Let's see if they can pull this one out of their hats. An the offensive foul, foul call there. Offensive foul is going to be called by the ref. You know, I'm, I'm not usually one to say this, but watch Zubek here easily whacking Hassan. And, yeah, you can call the offensive foul. Sterling running out of time here, down by 10. With a minute 47, minute 46 seconds left.
Star Lake Superfan sure aren't out of this game yet. Hopefully that'll give the uh, players a little bit of juice. A little bit of motivation, you know, get the uh, get their gases pumping again. Can't quite find where Warren Croxton is. He's actually standing right here to our left. He's oh. not really interviewing anybody right now. He's taking a break. You know ben. what? He's really done a great job today. He has. You know what? The, uh, regardless of the outcome of this game, guys, I'll t the Knights really, they, they gave it an outstanding effort tonight. They played their hearts out. They left it all on the court. And you know what I think? No matter what, they still are going to have one more chance to see this team. It's going to be a big game. Yes. And yes, it is, Brett. That's what I'm going to say. All right. I, I do think that these teams could meet again in the playoffs, possibly in the group two group two final. And uh, my goodness, would that be that be a showdown? That'd be something to see. Perhaps the third time would be the charm for the Knights. Travis is going to go for the steal, but nothing going. So guys, I, guys, I'm burning over here. It is hot. It's hot. We're losing energy right here where we're sitting. I mean, we're not even moving, and we're losing energy. I'm burning. These players must be burning up out there. It's a hot court. And now... Didn't get the timeout. Hadfield's coach is yelling. One of the timeout, couldn't get it. The refs are going to take it again. Haddonfield's obviously a much more emotional team in, in a way that they can't control. I mean, they'd like to do a lot of yelling. Understandable, they're such a great team. They want to win every game. They're actually uh, such a good team. They're recognized, you know, in the state of New Jersey. They're fifth in the state. It's a pretty, pretty respectable uh, figure there. It is. And the fact that Sterling can <coughs> keep up with a team like this just shows a lot about their character and their heart. That was a great play by Art. But he just couldn't manage to get the roll. There's about a minute left in the game right now. And that's going to be Haddonfield. Fans gotten quiet. Some fans making their way out. I can tell you what, this sure has been an entertaining game. I mean, anything's better than sitting home watching USA Ice Hockey tie Latvia. Right? Now, Am I Brett, right? now Brett, don't get. That was only the first round. Of the, of the uh, Olympics there. We don't, I don't think there's a need to be worried yet. They need to. They need time to gel, you know. I understand your frustration. I've never heard of Latvia either, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, they need time to gel. They're a new team. Guys, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a privilege to it, announce. It has been. It's a good time. There's still 47 seconds left here. And looks like the Haddonfield fans are making their way out. They're waving. They're taunting their Sterling crowds almost. They're actually Waiting. taunting us, staring at us, walking by. I'm feeling... I'm not... I don't feel at all intimidated. I'm feeling nervous. Mr. Panamom's coming in. Get them out of the way. And an announcement is being made. It looks like these fans on both sides are no, getting a little rowdy. No class at all. And Sterling officials are getting a little upset with it. As you can see, Mr. Panamom actually escorting the... He's uh, taking line. charge here. He's escorting them out of the gymnasium. Haven't filled up by 11 now. 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Art Ellis trying to make something happen. Stolen. Nice try by Stone. Look for Travis there. Smart by Haddonfield to pass the ball around. To lose it there. 25 seconds left in the game. Score 49. It was 38 in favor of Haddonfield. I think uh, before we go, uh, we should give one more uh, shout out, I guess, to Warren Croxton, who's really done a fantastic job. He's had a heck of a game. Doing courtside interviews. Mr. K also bringing this new revolutionary features to Sterling High School. That's right. Sterling this High School Sports Television. There's only two seconds left. The game is going to end. But just like you said, Brent, it was a low scoring game. 
It was know. a great game on both sides. It was. Haddonfield did what they wanted to do. Sterling did what they wanted to do. Got a few bounces, didn't go their way. That's a few calls didn't go the way they wanted them to. But the referees a, overall, I think, did a good job.